Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with part 37 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Twins. Currently Bryce is just cooking up a storm before he goes off to school and he's wearing his gloves because he's a little bit strong and he always has to wear gloves. It's just him. So <laughs> he's a bit of an awkward fellow, but I have been really, really enjoying seeing your creations for his future girlfriend or boyfriend because we've decided he's bi. So he could go either way. Um... I just think it's great to introduce a bi character into an LP because I know like a lot of the time you have, oh my, he does need to improve that cooking skill. I know a lot of the time in LPs, you know, there's gay sims and straight sims, but I feel like bisexual just gets forgotten a little bit. And I noticed in the comments, you guys were feeling that too. So that's why we're doing that. It is also hashtag twins tea time. If you haven't watched this LP before, we like to drink a bit of tea. And I haven't done it for a while because I just wasn't drinking tea, but now I am. So today I am having, what am I having? A twinnings, twinnings, twinnings tea. And it's chamomile, vanilla and honey. It's one of my favorites at the moment. So cheers everyone. Mmm. It's so good. I love it. Uh, comment down below what you are drinking today. I always find that interesting. So he's off to high school. Uh, I think he's really lacking social interaction. So I'm actually thinking, do we want um, Do we want to work? Oh, we didn't even do his homework. I was going to say, do we want to make him get better grades? Or maybe we should make some friends. We will be making friends soon, though, with your creations. And I have to say, oh, Ari is peeing. Having tinkle time. I have to say, uh, it was seriously amazing to see. That's a nice, uh, nice decorative object. I wish that was available as like a single thing. Um, <laughs> in that box too. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I was blown away by how many comments there were on the last part. I uploaded the last part one day ago, like a day ago. And there were over 800 comments. I could not believe it. Loved reading them. Loved the enthusiasm. Cannot believe how awesome uh, some of the descriptions are with the thorn girlfriend boyfriend hashtag. I also have to say, though, half of the comments I think may have been uh, pointing out that I kept calling thorn Bryce and Bryce thorn. So whoopsies. Anyways, let's get um, Ara to blow off some steam. She's pretty angry. Like she's super duper angry. Uh, she doesn't have work for another 23 hours. So that's good. And uh, Laza, on the other hand, she's just really needing to pee. She's got work in 10 hours, so uh, we might want to do some mischievous interactions. Let's try and contribute. Oh, uh, the other kid slacked off. Off you go, Arya. You working out, girl. <laughs> uh, also, quite a few comments uh, pointing out that where's the drama in the LP gone? Because there was so much drama with Esmeralda and now it's kind of gone into more a normal lifestyle. But the thing is with any LP, you know, there's going to be ups and downs. Uh, there has to be some calming time in between for us to actually have fun with, um, you know, relationships with the Sims and like organizing the next kind of drama to happen. So uh, that's why we we're doing that. And I was actually pretty impressed by how many of you guys were shipping Laurie and Alexander Goth. I thought that was really cute. And a lot of you guys said, oh, why doesn't Arya give him a makeover? So then Laurie like falls for him. I thought that was a really cool idea too. So um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But I do think Laurie kind of has commitment issues. She's friends with a lot of guys, but she's had a lot of bad luck with a lot of guys. So I think she kind of has a few commitment issues there. Although Alexander, she really hit it off with, so that was super duper impressive. Uh, let's get her to... Uh, we should probably get her to complete some of her mischievous interactions for today. So let's just go on here and... Well, we should pay our 24,000 bills. Oh my gosh, she's flirty though. If she's feeling flirty, you know what that means. I'm gonna invite Alexander over. Oh, yes. Uh, meanwhile, Arya's just finished off her little boxing routine. Come on, girl. Push the limits. Um, whilst we then have a little bit of time with Alexander Goth. You know, Laurie, do you want to actually put some clothes on? Because this is just inappropriate. Oh, I don't like that outfit today. Uh, every day. Three. This is her more businessy outfit. 
every day too. Yeah, cute. I like it. She's cash. Oh, look who it is! Actually, someone did ask, is Arya still friends with Bella Goth? Because they were friends. And we need to get Arya new friends because these two girls... Um, I liked the three A's, but I didn't, and sorry, I didn't know that the three A's was a thing in Pretty Little Lies, apparently. Uh, so sorry for those fans if I misled you by the title, but, oh yeah, she is friends with Cassandra Goth. She a teen or an adult? She's a young adult. We should give her a makeover. Yes, let's do that. Uh, invite in. Can stop boxing. And then, isn't it cute? The Goths are over. I love it. I love incorporating the goths into this LP. Okay, uh, kiss hands, sexy pose. Let's just say she's feeling extra flirty today. And she, I mean, it's a sign. It's a sign she wants to like get with Alexander Goth. Okay. Okay, Doki. I also had a really helpful comment from Stephanie Parker. She said, uh, she's pointing out what different fitnesses do different things. And I thought it was really interesting she said jogging uh equals weight loss treadmill equals weight loss but then other machines boxing and yoga will increase your sims muscle definition i just never knew that oh my gosh camera angles or what oh she's so flirty right now discuss neighborhood cha changes changes <laughs> discuss the neighborhood changes uh do a little bit of flirting. She's not the type of girl to just say, like, to confess an attraction straight off the bat. Maybe do a bit of a hug. Both of the goths need help in their makeovers, don't you reckon? Let's see if she can do... A little bit of a pickup line. Um, this is just awkward. They might have had a falling out, these two girls. Ask about Korea. Tell a joke about ducks. Let's just uh, just get them friendly, shall we say? How are these two guys going? What is it? This door is so in my way right now. <laughs> Laurie. Oh my gosh. Look at Laurie's bum. That is a very good bottom. I don't so so myself. I created her, but that is a good bum. That's because she's like semi muscly. Um, did you just want to offer Alexander? Oh, Thorn has met Kennedy. That's nice. Do you want to like invite him to do something? You know what? I reckon she would take him to the spa. Ask about love life. Meanwhile, these two girls are hanging out. What I might actually do is um. Get Cassandra to move in with Arya. And sorry, guys, I know you're probably like, oh, what? Why are you moving her in? But, ooh, ask for a small loan. Nah, she wouldn't ask for a loan. Um, but I thought maybe Cassandra could stay with her for a few days. Just maybe she's looking for a place herself. Um, and we could give her a makeover and make them really good friends. And I thought it would be kind of nice. Okay, let's just talk about cooking. Just keep keep that relationship. Moving in together. Yay! So this is just temporary, guys. Don't freak out. We're just moving her in because I want to give her a makeover and, um, I don't know, hang out a bit. So Cassandra Goth's going to come in here. And, you know, maybe that's why Alexander Goth is coming over a bit because let's be honest alexander goth and laurie are a very very unlikely pair like they're not at all like similar at all he's looking pretty nerdy pretty uncoordinated kind of thing kind of uncool whereas laurie's like rebel rebellious badass um you, well you know laurie we all know laurie so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, so now we have Cassandra here. This is very exciting. We're going to totally give her a makeover. It's going to be fun. Fun, you guys. Uh, but first of all, let's just maybe... Let's all go for a bit of a... Let's all travel somewhere. Um, I wonder if we can... I wonder if we can go shopping. That would be good. Can we travel with... I'm pretty sure I can travel with more than one person. Bryce is going to be jealous. Bryce is going to be very jealous, actually. Why can't we go with 
Aria. Am I blind? Cassandra Goth isn't here, is she? No. Um, so we'll just get Cassandra to follow us there. Oh my god, she aged up? Wow, okay. Wow, she just aged up. We're going to age her back down though. <laughs> Everyone is coming with you. Great, but we wanted Cassandra to come with us. Uh, okay, so let's see. What do we have? Magnolia Promenade. Uh, we don't... Oh, damn it. I didn't put any of the malls in this LP, I don't think. Do we have any of the shops? We only have the hangout places, so we might actually have to do a makeover in one of the stores that actually came with this expansion pack. So we can go to Paddywax Emporium, J, F, and S, Clothiers. Clo Clothiers. It's a shame you can't see the description when you're in the map view because I'd actually like to see what that shop is like before I go in. But I guess we'll see when we go in ourselves. Uh, but yeah. We might have to use a cheat to actually go into Kaz mode. Although we can just look in a mirror and give a makeover. But anyways, let's just say Arya's taking Cassandra shopping. And Laurie has found this. Oh, well, not so much Laurie. Maybe Alexander found this as a good excuse to kind of come along. Uh, let's just pause that for a second. We just want to uh, interact with him. She's kind of falling for him. All right. So I think Arya would basically say to Cassandra, share a brilliant idea that it's time for a makeover. Oh, Laurie. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, my. I was like, I have a great idea. Let's go shopping. But I feel like she should be a little bit more inspirational in what she's wearing. Oh, I don't like that outfit as much. Let's, it's a bit matronly. There we go. That's a cute outfit. All right. So, Arya, you should say maybe, you know, you're a great friend and all, but you could dress a little bit better. <laughs> she's like, oh, okay. She looks a bit nervous, so. She's like, don't worry, you're in good hands. I'm going to find you a fabulous outfit. So let's go in. Meanwhile, Laurie um, can joke about fashion because Laurie's like, <laughs> can't believe you guys are going shopping because I just buy my clothes from the op shop and just wear whatever, like a ripped tee or something. She doesn't really care. Okay. Thorn is back from school. He's not really doing that well, but that's cool. Who's this? Oh, it's Kendall Jenner, you guys. <laughs> well, we must be at the right place. Buy item. No, we don't want to buy it. Is everything going to be for sale here? Are you kidding me? We can't even just look in a mirror. So they make... That's so annoying. That's really annoying. That everything's going to be for sale. I just want to, like, look in the mirror... That's really sad. Someone's just wandering around in a hot dog outfit. <laughs> oh dear. Let's go here together and hopefully um, it can just be the two of them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I don't. I just want them. Okay. What I'll do is. Oh, she's sad because she missed her birthday. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was your birthday. These guys can have little romance time. Let's just flirt a little bit. Make a flirtatious jerk. Blow a kiss, because that's what Laurie's good at. Kendall, go away! They're meant to be having a romantic moment. Oh, <laughs> Look at that look on Laurie's face. She's like, get away from my boy. <laughs> Kendall, like, seriously. Laurie's not happy about this. Oh my gosh, she's like fuming. <laughs> uh, okay, she's getting angry at Alexander now, so 
you know, she's she's kind of the type of girl who would be insecure and because of her insecurity get angry at the guy when it wasn't really his fault. Smooth apology. I think she should tell Kendall to go away. She can't really though. Oh, she's flirty again. Let's get her to kiss hands and then maybe they can have their first kiss. Kendall's like, damn it! I'm like, not in the circle. Oh no! Okay, I get what's happening. They're in a group conversation because Kendall's there, Laurie's just getting jealous. So let's just give them a little bit of time to cool off. Um, okay. Let's go here together. Oh! I thought that was Bella. I'm like, oh, there's already a makeover. So we're gonna get uh, Bella to go in here. So she's just gonna be in there and we'll say Arya's got her some clothes. We'll just um, go control shift C, testing, cheats. True, and then we're gonna go full dot has edit. Wait, that's not it. Full. Wait, is it full cas dot edit mode? Edit full cas mode. Full. Oh no, I've already forgotten. Modifying cas. Let's just see, because I wanted to age her down, so we kind of need to use the full cas edit mode Ruby. in order to do that. Kazara. Damn it. Cas dot. Oh, it's cas dot full edit mode. Cas. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm having a derp moment. I need more tea. By the way, I'm like super duper duper excited for the meetup in Melbourne. I can't wait to meet some of you. Some of you guys. It's gonna be really, really, really fun. Casual, but fun. Uh, okay, so let's go. Cast up foot. I'm pretty sure that was it. Cast up full edit mode, right? That's it, right? Oh, yeah, it is. So we're just going to age her back down to a young adult. I do like glasses, but we're going to do a typical, uh, I'm using quotation marks with my fingers, uh, typical makeover where they lose the glasses. Um, but I love glasses. I actually want to get some glasses. Or we could give her, like, fun glasses. She's actually a very pretty girl, isn't she? Very pretty indeed. We could give her a green hair. No, we'll keep it. We'll keep it black. Uh, so let's see. Let's give her something. What would Arya like to do? She'd like to keep a classy feminine, I think. Uh, that's Laurie's hair, so let's not go with that. Um, we need more hairs. Yep, I'm ready for new hairs, so <laughs> that's why I've decided, even though we've been given heaps of hair. I don't think we want that. I mean, if we get rid of these shocker socks, at least she kind of looks like she has a bit of shape still. Kind of. Oh, actually, I've never used this skirt before. We're not going to give her any surgery today. <laughs> Ari wouldn't, I don't think Ari would endorse that. Um, and she's always kind of worn this gothic outfit because obviously her name's her last name's goth so maybe we could put her in a little bit of color or something like uh we'll just do one outfit for, to for today we won't do a whole full-on makeover mcgee we just want oof oof it's a little bit too risque isn't it Cute or a blouse. Her mum would be really excited because her mum is so like chic. Okay, change of plans, you guys. We have to use this skirt because it's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. I mean, that keeps her in her kind of black look, but changes it up a bit. Oh, you guys, this is so hard to like figure out. Let's do this. Let's do it. 
Cool. Yep. Done. And we'll put some accessories on, I think. I like her earrings. I like the diamonds. Let's go with maybe necklaces. I feel like R is big on accessorizing at this point in her life. So, alrighty, so I've given her this kind of yellow skirt, black tank top look and we've given her hair a bit of a haircut so she's got like a cute fringe now and a bit of makeup uh so there we go that is the new and improved alexandra goth which i like her i mean i feel like some of you guys are probably or you might comment that's something that delhi would totally wear because it is i love skirts and tank tops tucked in like that um and i do actually have a yellow skirt but I think she looks gorgeous. I mean, like, she, <laughs> look at her brother. He's like, what are you wearing? <laughs> She's so funny. Did I just call her Alexandra? Instead of Alexandra, Cassandra. <laughs> Classic jelly. Um, but yeah. Oh, he's like figured out he needs to be cool too now. She looks gorgeous. I love it. I think uh, she looks great. And Arya should totally be like, girl, you're looking good. Um, so we might just tell her, give her a heartfelt compliment and be like, you look really nice. Um, she's like, yay. She's like, thank you. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Anyway, Laurie over here. Where is she? She's just on her phone texting. Can we call Alexander over? Send text. I wonder if he'll actually check the text. I text. Text. I do wonder. I doubt it, though. She's like, you should really... If you want to get with Laurie, you need to step up a little bit. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I love that. Gosh, she looks so cute. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. Um, I'll look forward in the next part, hopefully having gone through the hashtags to see what you guys have created. Um, but in any case, let me know what you think of Cassandra's new look. And um, I'll speak to you soon. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And yeah, like I just said, I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>